Hey guys, today I'm gonna show you how to use the pattern stop tool. This one right here. You click S to use it. Click S to use it. Pattern stop tool. You hold Alt to pick something. You wanna call, clone it and then put it somewhere else. Like, let me show you here. I was watching the speed art and that guy used the pattern stop tool to cut out all the people for a picture. What he done was he held Alt and he left clicked. And what that done was he he copied that bit that he just clicked on, and now he can move it more to the right. I like it took him about two hours, I think. He just like, took his time on it. Yeah, I'm gonna do it like quick. I'm gonna do it quickly. It's like this. As you can see, the picture looks like. It was it was like that way from the start. Oh, I stopped it. Straighten it up a bit. Just fixed out. There we go. As you see, I just cut our bag. You get the point. After a while, you can just keep doing that. Now, also the clone tool can do something else. If you right click on it, you can do a pattern stamp tool. Let me just pick a good pattern. Where do my patterns go? So I'll just use that one. Okay. What it does is like it makes it draws out a pattern. Like if you want to do something like a cool effect on a text, you want to put that on the side. Of the text you can just do that. Also, if you use the lasso tool. But I think it, I don't know if it works for patterns because it worked on the clone ones. Yeah, it works. What you do is you can just do that and it only fills in the space. As you see, you got something here. Then you can just move it. Sorry, my computer is a little laggy. I'm rendering a Cinema 4D intro. I'm, I'll upload it later. Right, let me just des deselect that. Oh, well, let me. Ah, oh, fail. It's alright. Okay, thanks guys for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe.